Hi, my name is Tiffany, and I am a social worker here at the Oncology Clinic, and I'm here to um, talk with you. Um, I, that was my understanding, I received a referral that you wanted to talk, and I'm here. But before we get started, I just want to let you know what we talk about is completely confidential. Um, so what we say in this room will stay here. Except if there is something that you tell me that would indicate that you're going to put yourself at harm or somebody else's in, in harm's way, um, especially a child, um, an older adult, then I will have to report that outside of here. And you understand? Yeah, I understand. Do you have any questions? Not so far. Okay. So what brings you today? Um, so I kind of went for my appointment last week just for a regular checkup and then um, I had a mammogram with it and they told me I had cancer and then you always think you know like cancer is not a big deal for females because you know it's been so like developed and whatever they keep saying you know but I guess mine is just been too developed in my body or you know it has progressed so much that it, they can't really do much more um, for my anymore because it kind of just spread to the rest of my body so mm -hmm. it's just I don't know how to really process any of it the situation or information that really is going on it's that's a lot I, I hear in your voice tell me if I'm wrong that you're you're um, scared I mean, yeah, like, I don't know, like, how to tell my family, like, what am I supposed to tell, like, you know, my kids, like, they're only, like, I know they're already in high school and they're going to be ready to, like, move out of the nest soon, but regardless, like, my husband, like, it's just a lot. I feel like he barely hangs on by a thread now, and I'm kind of, like, the glue of the family, and, like, now that I know that, like, I have to go, you know, like, through all of this and I'm gonna be missing it's also like another burden for them right I understand and I hear you um, can you tell me a little bit more um, you had said that it spread throughout your body um, can you talk about that and what, what you're fearing the most well I don't really know like that's the thing like this doctors keep talking to me in terminology that I just don't understand like, okay they just keep like I feel like once they tell me I have cancer, everything else just kind of blurted out. Mm -hmm. and then it just went over my head, and mm -hmm. all I asked was, like, am I going to die or am I not? Like, is it, is it curable or is it not? And they said it, at this point it wasn't because it had spread so much through my body. And um, so, like, I really don't know at this point. Um, I don't feel like it really matters if the diagnostic is the same thing. You know? mm -hmm. Now, did they give you a treatment plan? Um, so I don't, I'm supposed to go tomorrow because I know I just got the, I just got the answer back. Um, but it seems like even when people are dying, they're always booked. Um, so that's kind of annoying as well. But I, I kind of start to like learn a little bit more about it tomorrow. So it's also very frustrating because, you know, they're like, hey, you're going to die. But then, bam, there's nothing else that they're telling you until like they have an opening for you. Mm. I, I hear you. I hear I hear your frustration clearly. Um, can you share with me more about um, your support system, your family? Um, well, I have two kids. They're in high school. Um, one's a senior. The other one's a freshman. Um, they're very good kids. You know, like it's not too much going on. I guess like. It's just the process of my husband. I know that maybe he won't, wouldn't be able to like handle it overall. He's usually the sensitive one in, in our relationship. And my mom is still alive. I never, my dad wasn't really in the picture ever. So it's just my mom and my uncles, but they're more like parents and they're very close family. So we're very knitted together. Um, so I have all their support, but at this moment, like, none of them know because I don't want to tell them something with I don't even really have the information. Gotcha. I understand that. 
So let's just go back. You said before you were like the glue yeah. for the family. Um, is there like your oldest daughter, would she be able to help um, you and the family as you go through your treatment? I mean, they're only teenagers. I don't want to put that on them, you know, like I feel like it's already enough with me actually being sick and I'm actually find out because I don't know how they're going to react for me to just automatically put responsibilities on them that they don't really need to have yet. Okay. I just want to be able to let them be kids still. Right. Understandable. Uh, so we've talked about a number of a number of things that you're going through right now. And it is, from what I see, a, a, a tough time for you. Um, if you could pick one thing that we could work on right now, you know, um, is it preparing for tomorrow, how to tell your family? Is it, um, what, what do you think? I think definitely right now what I'm scared of is how to tell my family because I'm scared of their reaction. Um, I'm not scared to die. It's just more of like what's going to happen after because I am the, usually the one who keeps everybody on task and on top of everything. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely just probably work on telling them. It's going to be my number one goal and maybe, you know, start getting set with like someone that can help me with knowing the steps of what's happening towards me because or coming for my treatment, I suppose, because I don't really know what's What's really going on? All right. Um, I think you are a very strong person. I can see that in you. And, and your family probably knows how strong you are. You're the pillar of their family. Am I, am I right? Yeah, I suppose, yeah. Yeah? So you have a lot of strengths. And I think that we can come up with a plan. Um, there's also a support group here uh, of newly diagnosed um cancer patients who are, you know, they help each other and are a support system for each other as well. And that might be something you may be interested in. If, if you are, I can um, put in a refer referral for you. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'll try it out. Okay, so we could do that. Um, I think that will really give you a lot of um, support and insight. Because I heard you before that you don't want to um, have your family worry so much and be burdened with, you know, a lot at it because they're young. Your, your children are young and your husband worries a lot. So I think if you talk to other survivors, because that's very, um, that's something I hear all the time, that, you know, the, the person who's going through treatment and everything, they don't want their loved ones to worry about them. So, um, maybe we can also add some resources for like when I do like pass away and just kind of like I, I want to make sure my family is good before you know everything mm -hmm. happens. So, like, maybe start off with that as well. Right, I think that's a good idea. Have you done any advanced directives or have you written out your will yet? I have not, I haven't done absolutely anything. Well, that's something definitely I can help you with. Um, in the next session, we can I can send you home with some papers today that you can look over, and I next session we can work through them together. So that's done. And with your will, uh, we do have volunteer attorneys who um, work with you know patients here, and they'd be more than happy to set up the time to help you with your will. Is that something you would like to pursue? Yeah, definitely. Okay, that sounds good. Um, so we, we talked about a lot and I think we're on the right track, um, to at least get you some support outside of the family. So, you know, when you talk with your family, you'll have more, um, more ideas of how to tell them and how to process your feelings and their feelings. And I will make a referral for you to be in that group, and I will also um, give you some papers to take home with you today to look at your advanced directives, and I will also um, put in a referral for you to talk to one of our attorneys to help you with your will. Now when you come um, to do your will, feel free to bring your husband with you. 
Um, Because, you know, you're a couple, so I'm sure what you put in your will will, you know, mean a He'll need to know what you put in your well, legally binding. So, is that good? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Well, I want to thank you for coming in. We can set our next appointment. And um, here is some papers for you. Thank you. And um, Rita and the... <laughs>